Hello students, in previous years you have studied about organization in living organisms where cells form the basis of structure and function of the living organism. Let us revise few points. There are mainly two types of cells, prokaryotic cells, eukaryotic cells. First, we will discuss about prokaryotic cell. In prokaryotic cell, genetic material is not packed inside the nucleus and organelles are not membrane bound or in other words, it is said that the prokaryotic cell lacks true nucleus. Organisms that have prokaryotic cells are unicellular and are called as prokaryotes. They are very small in size as compared to eukaryotes. Their size is between 1 to 5 micrometers, almost 1000 times smaller than a pencil tip. Examples of prokaryotes are unicellular organisms like bacteria and archaea. Bacteria are single celled microorganisms that are found nearly everywhere on earth and they are very diverse in their shapes and structures. Cell wall of bacteria contains peptidoglycan which makes it very rigid. In addition to plasma membrane and cell wall, many cells are surrounded by a capsule or slime layer external to the cell wall. Some of them can use flagella for locomotion. Do you remember what you have studied about the nature and growth of microorganisms and useful and harmful microorganisms in 7th standard? So, you know the fact that all the microbes are not harmful, but many of them are useful for human being. Now, we will see some interesting facts about bacteria. The human body is inhabited by different types of living microorganisms, which altogether is called as human microbiota. These microbes are found on the skin, in the nose, mouth and especially in the gut. We acquire these bacteria during our birth and first years of our life and they live with us throughout our life. This microbiota has large impact on our health. From the recent research in this field, scientists have found that there are about 3.8 ideally rounded to 4.0 into 10 raised to 13 that is around 38 trillions of bacteria present in a person with the average weight of 70 kg where the number of human cells constituting his body are 3.0 into 10 raised to 13 that is around 30 trillions. Thus, the number of bacteria in the body is actually of the same order as the number of human cells. Another example of prokaryotes is archaea. Archaea are similar in size and shape to bacteria and they are also unicellular. Some archaea are found in extreme environments such as hot springs, salt water lakes, etc. The archaea are highly diverse with respect to morphology, reproduction and ecology. Archaea can have a cell wall and flagella. However, the structure of these organelles is different. For example, Archaeal cell walls do not contain peptidoglycan membranes of archaea are very different than those of all other life forms. They contain different types of lipids. Can you imagine any cell that will be alive above 100 degrees centigrade? We think that upper temperature limit for life is about 100 degrees centigrade, the boiling point of water. But actually, some prokaryotes have been reported growing in sulphide chimneys located along rifts and ridges on the ocean floor. There is evidence that these prokaryotes grow and reproduce at 113 degrees centigrade. Now, exactly contrast to this situation, can you imagine organisms living and growing at 0 degrees centigrade? Yes, it is a fact that some prokaryotes were found at Arctic and Antarctic habitats. Now, we will discuss about eukaryotic cells. In eukaryotic cells, genetic material is packed inside the nucleus and organelles are membrane bound. Eukaryotic cells are larger and more complex than prokaryotic cells. Because a eukaryotic cell's nucleus is surrounded by a membrane, it is often said to have a true nucleus. 
मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड ऑर्गेनल्स इन यू कैरियोटिक सेल अलाउ फॉर कंपार्टमेंटलाइजेशन ऑफ फंक्शन यू कैन रिलेट इट विथ योर वेल ऑर्गेनाइज ड्रॉर और कबर्ड विच हैज सेपरेट सेक्शन फॉर डिफरेंट थिंग्स लाइक क्लोज ज्वेलरी bags etc and they are separated by wall of apply thus each section or compartment is serving separate function eukaryotic cells are significantly larger than prokaryotic cells which have diameters ranging from 10 to 100 micrometers organisms like protozoa fungi plants and animals have eukaryotic cells these organisms are called as eukaryotes eukaryotes can be either unicellular or multicellular all the cells have three things in common dna which is the genetic material of the cell cytoplasm which is semi solid fluid containing various cell organelles cell membrane which separates inner components of the cell from outer environment cells are very minute in size which cannot be seen with naked eyes the compound microscope is used for observation of these cells summary there are mainly two types of cells prokaryotic cells eukaryotic cells organisms that have prokaryotic cells are unicellular and are called as prokaryotes all the microbes are not harmful but many of them are useful for human being another example of prokaryotes is archaea archaea are similar in size and shape to bacteria and they are also unicellular in eukaryotic cells genetic material is packed inside the nucleus and organelles are membrane bound 